ただ、ま、打ち込まないと思うからね。ただ、ま、やつる意味はある。うん、日米の関係がある。ま、合同演習やったんですよ。じゃないかな。Banks have free pants, but Marcus. Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And your Shalom to the Akim, scattered in the four corners of the globe, preach the word truthfully and sincerely. Hey, shalom unto the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And this is uh, in the news on October the 7th, 2022, 4 10 p.m. on this uh, Friday afternoon. So, you know, I want to do a little quick sit down lesson in regards, you know, to the nations rising against nations and kingdom against kingdoms in the joel 3 and 10 uh let the weak say i am strong and as you've seen that video clip right there from daily motion as you see uh north korea uh war planes was flying through the area near uh the korean peninsula and i believe uh they might have some type of potential uh uh exercise drills there i believe because you know that's days after north korea launched their uh missile tests i believe on this past tuesday which was a couple of days ago since today is friday you know at the uh, uh it was a public announcement that uh north korea fired a missile over uh over near japan over the sea of japan you know in the eastern re region over there, you know, and, um, and they had the citizens of uh, Japan was kind of shook about the incident, you know, at the North Korea fired their missile, you know. So yeah, these uh, and you know the tensions been uh, increasingly intensified between uh, North Korea versus uh, United States, South Korea, and uh, North. And, I mean, in Japan as well, too, you know, and I believe at the uh, uh, North Korea fired their missile over near Japan. Uh, I think it was like a day later, uh, uh, United States and South Korea, they had respond, responded back with their with the, uh, live exercise joint military drills. Uh, flying planes over there in the region dropping bombs uh firing missiles off as well too so they can uh count you know counter that of their nuclear capability as well too to go against north korea 
if there's a potential of Japan is on the threat from North Korea, you know. So, yeah, hey, these uh, tensions are definitely stirring between the nations of different kingdoms, you know. And I'm going to bring out this uh, Joel 3 and 10 that goes with uh, Kim Jong-un as, uh, you know, as he continues to, uh, to increase his nuclear capability. And this is the book of Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and the pony hooks into spears and let the weak say I am strong, right? Because you let the weak say I am strong. You know, with these nations like uh, North Korea showing their nuclear capability, that's why you've seen constantly, consistently uh, Kim Jong un firing their missiles and their nuclear capabilities and their nuclear strength. And just in case they get prepared for war, you know with potentially United States and Japan and South Korea, you know. That's why, you know, they are uh, taking shots at with one another, seeing whose nuclear capability is the best. And, you know, United States and South Korea is uh, protecting uh, Japan over there in the area, along with the citizens as well, too, just in case if anything goes down. And we are definitely approaching that with these uh, nations Increasingly going against one another, and I'll bring out Matthew 24 and 6 because you're going to see, and, and you know, it's going to increase more and more and more. You know, the tensions between North Korea versus uh, Japan, South Korea, and the United States as well, too. They all clicked up together, all those three nations are clicked up together against North Korea, you know, and Kim Jong un is not backing down of all of those three nations, you know that's clicked up together to going against North Korea. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, because the end is not yet, because we're going to continue to see these things continue to grow and grow and grow on an everyday basis. You know, with the nations and different kingdoms, uh, rising up against one another, the uh, wars and rumors of wars increasingly, the rumors of wars that might be a hundred percent a rumor, then times is going to be a rumor of war is going to be actually true and become a actual real reality, you know, of a war, you know, because we're seeing that increasing more and more and more. And this is the book of Matthew 24 and 6. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right? We're going to see all these things that take place on the planet Earth. You know, the pestilence, the, the famines, the earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, nations rising up against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms as well, too. So, you know, you're going to see uh, more of these things continue to take place on the planet earth you know you know with north korea versus the united states and south korea and japan you know these tensions be uh, these tensions between these nations are going to continue to stir up even more and more you know as once again like i mentioned going to see this increasingly on a daily basis uh, rumors of wars are definitely increasing now more than ever, you know. So with that, you know, this was just a quick sit-down lesson for In the News on October 7th, 2022, on this uh, Friday afternoon at 4.17 p.m. And so with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of great millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely, and shout out to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely, and shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out and a ball ba ball.